Right here in Silverton with Jamie and Cam, we're gonna do the soft rock route, which is basically just hiking the hard rock 100 course. So should have lots of climbs, some pretty gnarly weather in the forecast. And uh, yeah, should, should be a really fun time. Excited to see this course for myself. So um... well, we found the hard rock rock. I don't think this is the current one though. Well, almost swept away. All right, made it to the top of the first climb here. I think it's called Little Giants Pass. And you can just see the vast San Juan wilderness all behind me. This is maybe 9.30 and we're already getting some clouds building up. So I'll definitely have to keep an eye on that. All right, made it down to uh, Cunningham on this nice easy road. The descent was insane. It was like 2,500 feet of loss in 2.1 miles. The trail was good, but uh, just very steep. So um, yeah, looking forward to be climbing again. Right, started the climb out of Cunningham. All right, storm's moving in. See the Trinities popping out over there. And that's the basin we came down earlier. Nice view of you with the Trinities. <laughs> Summit of uh, Stony Ridge Pass, I think. Second climb. This weather is kind of moving in, but it's holding off for now. I saw one, saw one big uh, bolt of lightning and I think two thunderclaps and that was kind of maybe an hour ago and I haven't heard one since so just kind of hoping for the best with the weather uh if it stays like this it'd be perfect but there's definitely uh I don't know if you see that behind me it's definitely rain over there all right uh mile I don't know 14 or so we're just up on Canby Pass Ridge whatever whatever they call it and Right at the beginning of the climb started drizzling and then when we got up there it really started coming down hard and heard a couple thunderclaps and then i was off the ridge which i and we're, but we're still like 12 6 up in this basin but this really bright light like a really bright flash of lightning and it just kind of feel felt like it was really close and then almost instantaneously after the flash of light was the loudest thunderclap I think I've ever heard. Pretty scary stuff. But uh, fortunately now we're going down and I'm just getting down as fast as I can into uh, Maggie Gulch here. We so, got down to Maggie Gulch and the rain and thunder and lightning would not let up. And we just got kind of cold and wet and Jamie and Cam were uh, saying they're having trouble with the altitude and they were concerned about the weather. So ultimately they decided to take the Maggie Gulch Road back to Silverton and abandon their plans for this trip. I was pretty sure I was gonna join them. And when we're about to leave, it just started to clear up and you know, I just wasn't ready to get off trail. I really haven't had um, much opportunity this summer to hike solo, which I really like doing. I also like hiking with friends, but when you hike solo, um, you really increase the simplicity. And I think simplicity is a big part of hiking because, you know, there's only one person that 
you have to worry about, right? And obviously that's, that's you. So you don't have to wait for people. You can, you know, make decisions for yourself and only yourself. So, so I'm going to hike on and I got a weather forecast off my inReach. It actually said tomorrow and Saturday, it looks like we might have good weather, which completely contradicts the forecast I saw earlier. So I don't know. We'll see. Right now I'm just going to enjoy walking in Colorado's finest mountain range, the San Juans. All right. The rain we had, all the rain we had today flooded this uh, stream here pretty well. And it's, it's really high and really silty right now. And I need water, so hopefully I'll find a side stream that's uh, not as silty. Got up at four. Well, I got up at like 3.40 this morning. It's hiking a little after four, trying to get ahead of some of the potential afternoon rain and thunderstorms, and uh, most importantly, get over Handy's Peak. So I'm on my own now. Um, yeah, just kind of cruised down a nice trail like from Cataract Lake, came up and over the divide on the Colorado Trail a little bit, and then dropped down. Now I'm walking up the road that most people drive up when they do Handy Sunshine and Red Cloud. Alright, there's the summit of Handy's looking down into the American Basin. Way more snow last time I was here in June. All right, on the summit of uh, Handy's here. Um, pretty good climb to get up here. Kind of steep at the end, and I don't know. I haven't done a 14er yet this year, so it's definitely feeling the altitude a bit. But uh, going down one pass, shouldn't have to regain a whole lot of elevation, and then uh, just a road all the way into Ure, and hopefully I'll be able to make it there for uh, dinner tonight but absolutely gorgeous out here. Weather seems to be cooperating for now. Really glad I chose to, uh, to push on yesterday. So we don't quite go to the top of Engineer Pass. Uh, definitely some weather over there. It's a trail and a big overhanging cliff. I'm gonna go down there. All right, uh, just got off the Bear Creek trail which i have to say is absolutely world-class single track so like the trail is just cut like on this on these huge ledges with massive drop-offs and just the scenery is just absolutely unreal um yeah hard to put into words how much fun it was walking down that trail today but overall I had an absolutely amazing day on trail 4 a.m start milky way was out um, 14er today. Um, the road was kind of blown, a lot of ATVs and stuff like that. But um, yeah, that descent definitely made dealing with all the ATVs well worth it. That was so cool. And now just two map miles maybe, and I'll be right into uh, downtown Ure, enjoying some awesome town food with uh, 
Cam and Jamie. So looking forward to that. snow doesn't get much sun hiding down there Virginia's mine now the difficult part of the pass the second step here as they call it headed up to Virginia's pass almost there all right made it to the top of uh, Virginia's pass right at 13,000 feet by far the toughest pass so far some gullies maybe class 2 plus kind of terrain the last like 600 feet of elevation or so so um good to be up here the descent on the other side looks pretty gnarly also but the views up here are just absolutely outstanding great view of snaffles i think that one's tea kettle Um, every drainage after Virginia's Pass, they were all running yesterday, now they're all dry. And I asked a day hiker how far down to water, and she said it's going to be a while. So she ended up giving me maybe a third of a liter of hers, which is very nice. Um, but yeah, I was not expecting uh, to, to not find any water, so um, at least I have that. And I'll just have the camel up when I, when I do find some water. But yeah, being thirsty out here is, is tough. Uh, climbing out of Telluride here. Um, first part, really easy trail, but throngs of day hikers on the Saturday afternoon. Um, had lunch at the Baker and Butcher, something like that. It's pretty good. And uh, back on trail, heading up to... I just looked at the name of the pass, like Wasatch Pass, that's it. And really aerobic climb here. So just enjoying it, sun is shining, hiking uphill, hard to beat that. Across this bridge. All right, summit of uh, Wasatch Pass. Long climb out of Telluride, but it rained. A good amount coming up here, and now it's clearing up a bit. So I'm um, happy about that. So hopefully it's all the rain I'll have to contend with. Looks pretty nasty over there, but didn't hear any thunder. So good view of the next pass, Grant Swamp Pass. It looks completely ridiculous and impassable from here, just because like a vertical gully. So I don't know if I'm gonna get there today, probably tomorrow morning. This is the base of the final pitch up to Grant Swamp Pass. It looked completely vertical from the last pass, but um, definitely steep, but definitely looks doable. Top of Grant Swamp Pass, plaque here, a memorial for a hard rocker. Oh. And then, man, that was probably the toughest one, really loose and really hard to get any footing. But glad to be at the top. It's a grouse right there. They can be very aggressive. All right, porcupine saddle. One more climb. 
I believe is that bridge up there. 